All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. It's your boy Troy in front of today's day is Saturday, November the 7th. So it is the Verizon event going on right now. So as you can see, we got a site there because I took a snapshot, go up here, and that what popped up. So we're going to capture the site the real quick. So here's the thing. So far, the spawns have not changed. Not at all. I was expecting the spawns to change, but apparently that's not the case at this point in time. But we do have a special task that we have to do, and we have three hours to get it done. So one of them was to be feed your buddy three treats. We did that already. We got to capture 15 Pokemon, and as you saw in the bottom, ooh, these IVs are terrible. We got one of 15 and also got power up Pokemon 10 times. So obviously the main thing here is with the unknowns. Oh, I know why. We got to put on a um, incense. Yeah, may want to do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. So now we got the incense up and running. We're going to capture the Rumples and everything else that we can see. Because we need to capture 15 Pokemon and we need to power up some of these Pokemon. Oh, there's an unknown right off the bat. Hold up. Now keep in mind, none of these unknowns are shiny. However, out of this entire weekend, out of these two events, because there's the Verizon event and there's the um, Grubhub event, there's one unknown that's going to be showing up here that I don't have in my collection, that I don't have in a Dex. So we're going to be capturing these unknowns until we get it. And then I'll be three unknowns away from completing the unknown Dex. And I believe, is this what letter this is? I don't know what letter this is. But yeah, we're going to capture these Pokemon, and then we're going to power up 10 of these things. And also, again, Shiny Feral Seed, that's the main thing. That's what we're going to be looking for, and that's what we're going to be hunting. So yeah, the the spawns don't change, so it's all about Pokemon that are spawning from the instance. So that's what we're going to be focusing on right here today. Oh look, there's a, a Pat Rat, not Shiny. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. We're going to hang around the Civic Center here at Dearborn. That side is blocked off because they're doing COVID-19 testing and they're doing flu shots. They're giving out flu shots over there as well. I was not paying attention. So yeah, we're going to capture this Pat Rat real quick. And then we're going to move on and capture more Pokemon. So yeah, stay tuned. Is it Shiny? No, it's not Shiny. Stay tuned. So I made it to the library side of the Civic Center. We just did a Lugia raid. It was right. Like, Trevor counts in there, something like that. We beat it real quick. Not shiny, unfortunately. So, check this out. First Lugia raid I did, shiny. Yeah, your boy got a shiny Lugia already. That no error blast. So, we're gonna capture this thing real quick. And I completed the first step of the Verizon special task that's going on right now. We're gonna try and capture this Lugia real quick, and then we're gonna see what's next on the list. So far, no shiny for your boy. Absols are spawning up. Charizard, not Charmander, Charizard are spawning up. Let's back up real quick. See what, oh, they're Feral Seed right on Q. Not shiny though, unfortunately. And I already checked the Pikachu. Let me check the Dratini real quick. Not shiny. But can I, yeah, let's try and capture that real quick. And then we go, tr go back in and try and capture that Lugia real quick as well. So there's that. Oh, the speaker of the Absol, there it is right there. Not shiny though. And these are, oh yeah, that's a really good one. And these are good for that Stardust, so actually we're going to quick catch this because this should be an easy catch right here. Alright, so let's go back in and get this Lugia real quick, which is again, not shiny. So 2059 CP, that's what we're dealing with here. I don't remember off the top of my head what the Hundo is, to be honest, where we got an excellent throw on the Lugia. Hopefully this is the catch. One, two, and no. So we're going to back up out of there real quick. Did anything new spawn? Negative. But let's go for here real quick. So there's three more steps after this. So we're going to claim that. We're going to claim that. And we're going to claim this. See what this is real quick. Has something just spawned? Oh, it's a Spoink. Okay. So 563 CP. That was a terrible throw. Come on. There we go. Great throw. Back up out of there. Now the Feral Seed. And can we click on it? Yes, we did. But it's not a shiny, unfortunately. Uh, let's go back in and try to catch the Lugia yet again. That's not the Yu-Gi-Oh raid. That's a Murkrow, which is not what we want. All right, we're going back in. We're going to try again to capture this Lugia. So that's what's going on today aside from the Lugia part. Just trying to look for the shiny Feral Seed, get any shinies that we can get. If we can't get it today, we would definitely get it tomorrow. That is a definite. And is this a definite catch? No, this is not a definite catch. So I'm going to try to capture this Lugia. So yeah, stay tuned. 
Alright, so I'm still at the same spot because I was just collecting Pokemon and completing that first step. Bam! We got a shiny Absol right off the bat. Let's capture this thing real quick. This is the first shiny of the day. As we are 44 minutes into the event, I did not catch that Lugia. But I'm not losing sleep over that. So here we go. One, two, and three. Yeah, we caught the Absol, the shiny Absol. So that's our first shiny of the day. That's what I'm talking about, 1469 CP. IVs are garbage. So let's see, anything new popped up? Well, the Pat Rat, I can check that real quick. That's not shiny. So we're gonna ba bounce out of that. Now let's see what we got. Make 15 nice throws, transfer 20 Pokemon, and evolve five Pokemon. Oh look, there's a Pikachu. That's not shiny, unfortunately. So, although I could have captured that real quick. So yeah, let's go ahead and capture that. And then we might evolve it, I don't know. Quick catch that, cause that's an easy catch right there. Yep, there you go right there. And we got an, actually that was a nice throw bonus. So we're gonna take care of that real quick. And then we're gonna see if we can get any more shinies. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we just completed step two, which was getting 15 nice throws, evolve five Pokemon, and transfer, I think either 10 or 20 Pokemon, but we completed them all. Let's claim this real quick. Oh, well, something spawned. Fail will see this is shiny. No. It is not shiny, unfortunately. I'm not going to capture that. Let's get back to this right here. Thousand starters. Let's see what this is, though. It's a sun current, which is not exactly thrilling. It is windy now. It feels nice out here. All right, so let's see what this is, though. Star piece. Stardust. A thousand of them, that is. And what this mystery Pokemon? It's a Serato. Okay. We got a Serato here. So we're going to quick catch this thing. Great throw. There we go. Oh, we already know what's coming up. Make five great curveball throws. Catch 15 Pokemon. Power Pokemon 10 times again. Woo, woo, woo. Also, we got the animation we we says as well. So we can claim this stuff real quick. Let's claim this real quick. It didn't not yet. I'm going to see what's the spawn. What is that? Oh, it's an unknown. Unknown V to be exact. So I'm going to back up. Oh, wait a minute. 45 CP? Yeah. We can get a, uh, a great throw on this real quick. There you go. Right on cue. All right. So let's claim that last one right here. Booyah. Yep. 500 starters. Now let's see what this Pokemon is. This is... Oh, the Pikachu with the hat. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not shiny. All right. So we're going to get a great throw on this Pikachu. Really? And that, of course, counted. So... There we go. We got that going on. And let's take a look at this real quick. Battle another trainer. Battle in a raid, which I did a while back. And win a raid, which I did a while back. So, unfortunately, that won't count. But, yeah. We're going to look for the shiny Feral Seed. We're still looking for that thing. So, oh, we got another Charizard here. Not shiny, of course. But, you know, you can't turn out a pretty good Charizard. We're going to, Wong Berry, give it a Silver Pineapple. And capture this thing real quick. And then we're going to move on from there. So, yeah, stay tuned. So it is Sunday. It is now November the 8th, and the Grub Hub event is going on right now. It's 11.01 a.m. It's starting right now. I can't take part in it yet. Even though I do got a ticket for it, I got the mail, all that. I can't take part in it yet. I'm at Waterway Park, which is out in Livonia, and it's a Skarmory Nest. Yeah, that's how we start off. We got a shiny Skarmory right here on deck. And it's crazy because a lot of Skarmories are out spawning like crazy. The sun is out. It is really, really out right now. So we're going to capture this shiny Skarmory real quick. And then we're going to put on three instances. And we're going to get on the event. We're going to see what the today task is looking like. So even though I didn't mention it, well, I tried to mention it in the previous day. But I completed all the tasks. And the last thing that I caught was the Gibble. From the test. So let's see what the IVs are like. Okay, there we go. The IVs are terrible. Now, out of curiosity, another thing I do want to say, assuming that I can, is how close to 1500 will this thing be? Okay, this thing is acting slow. The connection here is not exactly the best here. So, okay, there we go. Yeah, so 1484. Okay, let's bounce out of here. So, yeah, all this is a Scarmory Nest, and I'm going to be doing that Lugia today, so let's put on an instance, actually three of them to be exact, so there's one, and let's see, there's two, and then, then we got the pad right, right there, and there's three, so we got three of them joints in right now, that's not what I want, 
That's what I want to see. Here we go. Special weekend grub hub. So here we go. Power up a Pokemon 10 times again. Catch 15 Pokemon. Get your birthday picture. So basically the same stuff that I did yesterday. So we won't focus on the task. Well, I won't present to you guys the task like that unless I get a shiny from it, something like that. So instead, we're just going to look for the shiny Feral Seed. That's the main thing that I want at this point in time, the shiny Feral Seed. So I'm going to look for my lowest CP Pokemon and power that up 10 times. And now I'm going to do it again later on. So there's that. Let's do this Pikachu real quick. Pause on that. And there we go. Power up that Pikachu. There you go. So let's see what just spawned. I feel like something just spawned. Oh, oh, that's new. Okay, yeah. So we got the Marwow now. So yeah, we definitely going to be checking these. I'm not sure if I'm, I may catch these as well for PvP purposes. See which one I have really good IVs for PvP. Good CP for PvP, things of that nature. So yeah. We're going to be here looking for that shiny feral seed, and the unknowns are different as well, so it's no longer, what is it, V and Z. It's going to be two other things that I already have, so it's like, eh, but that the unknown, that Z unknown was very useful, because now I need three unknowns to complete the unknown deck, one more unknown to get the uh, gold badge, so, and that would be F, X, and Y, so I need one of those three unknowns to get that deck. To get that badge right there. Say bye, it's not shiny. But yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. Let's go. Well, I made my way towards the other side of the civic center here, Lavonia. There's like two civic centers, if you wanna call it that. One of them had the library, the Secretary of State office, and the police station, all that stuff. This side, this is where, you know, the activity center is. They got the pool in there, uh, workout center, all that stuff. Hockey rink over there, football stadium back there somewhere. So, yeah, you know, two sides of the civic center don't make sense. You know, it may not make sense to you. Speaking of things that don't make sense, aside from 70 degrees weather in November, that, that makes no sense. A shiny Rattata. This is not a, this is not part of the Grub Hub event. This is not part of the Pokemon Journeys event. This was just a straight up shiny that just popped up out of nowhere. So that's crazy. So yeah, we're gonna capture this shiny Rattata I want to say I'm almost done with the today special task with the Grubhub event. So there it is. We got the shiny Rattata. This makes no sense to me. So and that and that shiny Skarmory are the only two shinies that I got so far today. No other shinies at all. I already put something in that gym. We got the Go Look Ray right there as if I'm going to do a Go Look Ray. So and let me show you where I'm at with the today's task by the way. So I've just completed this right here so we can actually claim all this stuff. And actually this will be it for the today's task. And an hour has passed since I last appeared in front of you guys by the way. And this should be, what was this like? Yesterday I forgot this quickly. What this Pokemon is. Oh it's a Charizard, that's right, it's a Charizard. Now I already know what that other Pokemon is down at that bottom. That's going to be a Gibble because uh, that's what it was yesterday. Let's capture the Charizard real quick. And then, oh, Feral Seed. Shiny? No. Still no Shiny Feral Seed, unfortunately. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna quick catch that. Now we're gonna go back in here, and we're gonna capture this thing right here, which again, will be a Gibble. Not Shiny, of course. <laughs> so we're gonna capture the Gibble real quick. And that would be it for the today task right there. Now, another thing I can do is claim this. So this was Battle on the Ray, Win Ray, and Battle on the Trainer. We're gonna claim this right here. And we're gonna claim these rewards down here. Is I know that's not it for that. Is that it for that? No, it's not, okay. Now we got this. Defeat team, three Team Girl Rocket Grunts, catch two Pokemon with Red Boost, catch three Grass type Pokemon. Okay, we could do some of those today, not all of those, but some of those today. You know, there is a Team Girl Rocket Grunt right there, but I'm not gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on looking for the shiny Feral Seed. Maybe another shiny Marwell. That would be dope if you ask me. But yeah. Let me catch this real quick. But yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Well, we asked for it, and we got it. It's not the shiny Pharaoh seed. It's that right there, a shiny Marau. We asked for this, and we got it. So we're gonna capture it real quick, because I'm gonna see if a Pharaoh seed will pop up. So now the only thing that I really want is a shiny Pharaoh seed, or like three of them. <laughs> Especially since I didn't get any yesterday. So we got the shiny Marau. And the IVs are okay for maybe for PvP. So let's see. Oh, there's another uh Marau. That one ain't shiny, however. 590 is the CP, so we're gonna quick catch this real quick. 
And there's a few other shiny chests around here, like the Pipla, which is not shiny. The Cubone, not shiny. And I think that's, a, oh no, that's it. That's basically it right here. So yeah, we're gonna just hang around here for another hour and 47 minutes. Hopefully we get the shiny Pharaoh seed today because I have no clue when that's gonna be out worldwide. Squirrel or not shiny, but yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so that's what we'll do it for another thrilling episode of Pokemon Go. So the Grubhub event is over. And as you can see over there, these are all the shinies that I got from this weekend. So we got the shiny Abso, the 1469 CP one, and then we got another one, 331 CP. Both of those were from the Verizon event that took place yesterday. So I only got two shinies yesterday, and then today, during the Grubhub event, we got the shiny Skarmory, which was not a part of the event, which was not a part of the Pokemon Journey event, but was just a nest spawn, because there's a Skarmory nest not far from here. And then after that, we got a full eye shiny Rattata. That was not part of any event of any kind. It just popped up out of nowhere. So technically speaking, I only got one shiny from today's Grubhub event, and that's this, the shiny Marrow. That's the only shiny I got from today's Grub Hub event officially. That was a part of the event. So I got five shinies total this weekend. So there's that. And what do I think about both events? Well, I do like the fact that both events are just three hours long. So that's cool because if it was six hours long, obviously I would be grinding throughout the entire event because that's the type of player that I am. So the fact that they made these two events three hour events, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now, what I didn't like, though, was the fact that Bulbasaur, Scrotal, and Charizard were spawning at both events. I feel like this, the the pool, the number of Pokemon that was spawning during both events, could have been l reduced. And those three, I would have took those three out. Because Bulbasaur and Scrotal, we got community days. We had those community days. And Charizard, technically Charmander, we had two of them. And the second one happened last month. So the fact that they gave us... Charizard spawning, I didn't like that at all. Those three should have been taken out. Also, in terms of what was spawning things of that nature, depending on which event you took part in, Morrow and Absol were spawning the most. So Absol was spawning the most during yesterday's Verizon event. Morrow was spawning the most during today's Grubhub event. I don't remember how they were spawning yesterday, but today, especially today, the Morrow, there have been times where on multiple occasions, not just once, but on multiple occasions, Three Morrow will spawn back to back to back. And there will be occasions where out of five spawns, four of them were Morrows. And let's be honest here. Even though those two shinies are somewhat rare because normally you can only get those in raids. Shiny Pharisee is the main target here. So that should have been spawning the most. It wasn't spawning the least. I'm not saying that. That honor go to the likes of the Sabai and the Pat Rat. But... Uh, Feral Sea is the main event that should have been spawning the most and I feel like the Pokemon should have been spawning more frequently I think they were spawning once every minute if you were moving around I was moving around obviously and I feel like they should have been spawning like once per 30 seconds or something along those lines especially if Feral Sea was not going to be spawning the most so I feel like that should have been a thing and actually they also included the Pikachus with the hat now this part is a nick picker right here because we, it's already spawning during the Pokemon Journey event, which is going on, you know, at the same time as these two events. But at the same time, they probably figure, yo, the, the Verizon and the Grubhub, huh? they want Pikachu to be part of these events, so why not? That's a that's a nitpick. That's the only nitpick that I have. But aside from those things I like, I thought it was a cool event. You know, even though I didn't get the shiny Feral Sea, you know, I did get some shinies. The unknown showing up was cool. I had no problem with that. I had no problem with the fact that they were not shiny. I think that was the right call as well. So... That's how I feel about both of these events. Would I like to see more of these events? I mean, like once in a while, yeah, sure. But you know, they, I feel like it should be a once a month thing, not a twice a weekend thing. So there's that right there. Now, my next video, I was told earlier today that there is a Teddy Ursula nest nearby. So I'm probably gonna go there tomorrow and check it out. Actually, I'm gonna check it out on my way home to see if it's legit or not. But then I will probably go out and shoot a video tomorrow for Wednesday's video so don't miss that because I want one more shiny Teddy Ursula to complete the family and there you go and I'm gonna call it a wrap so with all that said y'all know who this is this is boy New Jack Aspy aka New Stephen A. Smith saying peace out y'all and I'll see y'all next time yeah <laughs> thanks man <laughs>
After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes. Show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm gonna hit and move away.